Hoping up three today's hottest music. Right now, it is a pleasure to be joined on the line by uh, King E and J. Hot new artist coming up out of Jersey, making major moves uh, on the, the well, primarily on the East Coast, but uh, about to blow up uh, nationwide. How you doing, man? I'm doing good, man. What up, King E and J in the building? How you feeling? Uh, yeah, it's a pleasure to be talking to you, man. Of course, you've got the hot new song, Break It Down. It's off that uh, New Jersey Werewolf album. I want to talk to you a little bit about that in a few minutes. But first, let's uh, kind of take it back to the beginning. You're from South Jersey. Yeah, from South Jersey. How, how did that inform your musical taste? Uh, it influenced my music a whole lot. I mean, it has everything on it. I mean, I'm doing straight up Jersey music. People can relate to what I'm doing for the simple fact that... um. I mean, it's fun and there's parties out this way. I mean, if you don't know anything about Atlantic City, you know what I mean, the shore area, the beaches and all that, um, if you know anything about the shoot, the, uh, the Jersey you see how it goes down in Jersey. So, I mean, Jersey's just about having fun and partying. Absolutely. And you can hear that. There's a, there's a lot of that in your music. Um, a lot of party music. It's about having fun. How long have you been making music? Uh, I've been making music probably for like the last maybe six years. But I've been really hard with the last three. I've been getting a really good following and a good buzz. You've uh, you kind of come by your musical talents honestly. Of course, uh, your uncle is Larry Blackman of Cameo. Yeah. How is yeah yeah? How has he helped you uh, along the way? Uh, he taught me a lot. Me uh, just simple fact me to call him up and uh, ask different questions. And um, I'm really uh, like always about my business and really wanting to know the business. So he helped. Definitely with helping me stay to kind of do the smarter or the better, smarter thing with my career. He's helped a tremendous amount. I mean, I can't even say how much he's helped. He's helped a tremendous amount. I look up to him. He's my uh, influence right now. Uh, speaking of influences, uh, who else would you list among your influences? Oh, uh, Jay Z. Looking at the business aspect of how he took music and took it to the corporate world and actually still doing it big. Um, people like. Um, Tupac, Tupac, uh, Lil Wayne, them guys, their work ethic is just crazy. So uh, a lot of people that work like that, even down to Beyonce, I looked at the, um, he did a thing on her talking about how much that she does. And when you see how hard these people work, it's like I definitely like look up to them and love their music. Also Bob Marley, because he always came out with some good music that actually scared the people to do things and some positive stuff. So people like that. Definitely naming uh, a lot of legends in there, and uh, certainly we're rooting for you, hoping you, uh, hoping that you're on your way to uh, making it up there with those names. The new single is called Break It Down. You want to tell us a little bit about it? Break It Down. Break It Down is basically a um, club record. Um, I came up with the record. It was produced by the homie uh, Tuan B Maker. He's out of uh, Orlando. And when I uh, came, I came up with the track, uh, off of just going to the club and actually noticing how people didn't really party. Like, you know, you got people standing around and not having a good time. And I couldn't think of a better single to come out with and break it down and the simple say, hey, y'all in the club right now. you have been drinking and doing all this stuff. Why don't y'all break it down? That simple. You want to take us into that? Yeah, what up, what up? This is King Ian J, Ken Honcho, owner of Werewolf Mafia. And right now you're about to rock with my new single, Break It Down. Let's go. It's right here on Hot 103, baby. King Ian J. I'm gone. I'm gone. I'm wasted. I'm wasted. I'm looking for a shorter half naked. Half naked. You got a booty girl. We're going shaky. We're going shaky. Cause I just came to the club to watch the nasty girls. Break it, break it down. Break it, break it down. Break it, break it down. Break it down. Break it, break it down. Break it, break it down. Break it down. Break it, break it down. Break it, break it down. I just came to the club to watch the nasty girls. Break it, break it down. Break it. Break it down, down. shooty make it twerk. twerk. Got throwing dollars at her, and she don't even work. work. Go ahead, girl, pop that. He make that. He go berserk. If I get behind that, then guarantee, girl, I ain't gonna do the jerk. I love them girls off in the club with they face down and they. Them sexy girls, them freak girls, they really, really like to back it up. Baby girl, now back it up. 
Show me what you really, really working with While well, I work my stick, work my stick, work my stick And then I'm gone I'm gone, I'm gone I'm wasted, I'm wasted I'm looking for a shorter half naked, half naked You got a booty girl, we're going shaky, going shaky Cause I just came to the club to watch the nasty girls Break it, break it down Break it, break it down Break it, break it down Break it down Break it, break it down Break it, break it down Break it down Show you dumb. Most of these girls in the club ain't got no panties on. Nah. So, girl, break it down. Break it down like your man gone. Nasty girls in the club. Get your dance on. Yeah. Basically, don't be afraid to make a clap on one leg. Just for my sexy girls, my stripper girls that get paid. That get paid. That get money. Every club that she go to. Cause she shake it like she's supposed to. That's the reason she got me gone. I'm gone. I'm gone. I'm wasted. I'm wasted. I'm looking for a shorter half naked. Half naked. You got a booty. Girl, we're going shaky, going shaky. Cause I just came to the club to watch the nasty girls break it, break it down, break it, break it down, break it, break it down, break it down, break it, break it down, break it, break it down, break it down, break it, break it down, break it, break it down. I just came to the club to watch the nasty girls break it, break it down, break it, break it down, break it, break it down, break it down, break it, break it down, break it, break it down, break it down, break it, break it down, break it, break it down. I just came to the club. She bouncing on my stick. She working on that pole. She working on my stick like strippers working on that pole. In the club, throat right there on my bottle up. Groupies be they with a groupie me, so I'm dripping on that model butt. Bring your girl around me tonight, boy. That's a no no. no. You be looking for your chick, homeboy like Marco. Bolo. When it comes to these chicks in the club, man, I go loco. That's why your girl off in my bench, so when I'm gone. I'm gone. I'm gone. I'm wasting, I'm looking for a shorter half naked, half naked. You got a booty girl, we're going shaky, going shaky. Cause I just came to the club to watch the nasty girls break it, break it down. Break it, break it down, break it, break it down. Break it down, break it, break it down, break it, break it down. Break it down, break it, break it down, break it, break it down. I just came to the club to watch the nasty girls break it, break it down. Break it, break it down, break it, break it down. Break it down, break it, break it down, break it, break it down. Break it down, break it, break it down, break it, break it down. I just came to the club with my with my girls to break it down. Up on the three, today's hottest music. That is the hot new single, Break It Down, from King E and J. It's off the album New Jersey Werewolf. We've got King E and J on the line. Talk to me about this uh, werewolf theme. Where did that come from, and uh, what are you doing with it? I came up with the, um, I used to call myself, my crew used to be the wolf pack back in the day. And uh, when I started like, kind of looking around and wanting to brand myself, when I started my record label, I said I don't, I wanted to brand myself and be something different. And it was a lot of wolf packs, so I came. I didn't want to just go too far from that, so I came up with the Werewolf Mafia, Werewolf Mafia Entertainment. That's the name of my record label, and uh, the whole werewolf movement is just about partying, having fun, up all night, and just enjoying life and just being free with whatever you do. Absolutely, letting letting that animal uh, come through. Yeah, yeah, exactly. You, Everybody has an animal inside them. You know what I mean? I hope it's a werewolf. Uh, listen, you just got back from South by Southwest. What was that like? Man, that experience was crazy. I got to open up for names like uh, Ti out there, um, and just uh, and just being around a bunch of music and that whole aspect of just seeing different artists from Germany and Russia and. Getting in, get in touch with the fans because there's a hundred, couple hundred thousand people out there. But that experience was electric. It's nothing like it. I've never been nowhere where the people are that driven and that into what's going on with the music. And uh, that was your first time out, out to yeah, South This experience definitely won't be my last. I'm already looking forward to next year already. Were you able to establish any relationships uh, while you were in Austin that we might expect to see uh, on future projects? Um, a couple, but a couple, but we're not gonna release. I definitely, um, you know, on my on the uh, Street Werewolf and CD, I actually have guys like Meek Mill on there as of right now. And I got a couple other names, but um, I just say stay tuned, stay tuned. I got a lot of different people I'm talking to and working with, but I don't want to uh, say nothing until it's in ink. You you mentioned Meek Mill. Um, how did that come come about? Um, 
he's from Philly. I'm from Jersey, and uh, we actually were both recording at the same uh, the same studio. Basically, um, there's a studio that he recorded that's called Bat Cave. I don't know if he still records there, but I used to record there also. And um, kind of just do being around each other, and uh, had a couple hot tracks. Um, I asked him to get on one, and he was like, "Cool." The relationship was cool and mutual. He seen me around, and he knew I was the person that worked, so we, we did it. If you're just joining us, we've got King E and J on the line, a hot new up and coming artist uh, out of Jersey. Uh, King, how can uh, fans get in touch with you? Where can Anybody they find you on the web? My music, or trying to see anything I'm doing, you can go to www.kingenj.com. Once again, it's www.kingenj.com. Or you can follow me on my Twitter at KingEnJ or my Instagram, KingEnJ. Beautiful, man. Thanks for taking the time to talk to us today. I uh, appreciate it, man. Y'all family, you know, y'all just call me up with my hip and, you know, I'm coming through, calling, hitting y'all, whatever. Absolutely. Well, uh, good luck. Good luck in everything you do, and we'll be watching you closely, man. Okay. Well, stay tuned. I'll be out that way real soon. King E&J, this is today's hottest music, Hot 103. 